What's up, everyone? I'm James Young with jamesyoungphotography.com, and I'm bringing you episode number 19 of Teach Me How to Lightroom. Today, we're taking a look at this portrait I took using some LED light strips to add some visual effects, and we're going to give it some color grading that's heavily inspired by Brandon Wolfel. So check this out. We're going to go from here, and we're taking it here. Don't forget, there's a link in the description for the raw file to this exact image so you can follow along with this tutorial. And if you enjoy these videos, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new, it would be awesome if you subscribed. Well, let's get started right into the edit. With this portrait, the first thing I want to do is correct my composition here. I'm just going to crop in just a little bit. And we're going to get her eyes right level with that top third there. Awesome. Now the first thing I typically do with my edits is I scroll down to the tone curve and change the point curve to medium contrast. Now I'm going to scroll up just a little bit and we'll get started right into the basic panel here. I'm going to leave the in camera exposure here. I'm totally fine with that. And with the contrast, we're going to go up about 25. We're going to raise our highlights for this image somewhere around plus 40. And then for this image, we're going to go up about plus 70 on our shadows. And you can see here, even at ISO 4000, we were able to get a lot of detail out of the shadows right there. That's pretty awesome. With the whites, we're going to go up to about plus 30. Awesome. And then the blacks, let's just bring those down a little bit, about minus 25. Perfect. So I'm going a little fast through the basic panel here because I really want to get to the color grading. So with the clarity, we're just going to cut this down to about minus 15. The reason why we do that is because this is a, this is more of almost like a headshot and we don't need tons and tons and tons of detail through cranking up the clarity like this. Don't do that to people. No. So minus 15 on clarity will do just fine. So let's get into manipulating the colors here because again, we want to get that Brandon Wolfel type of color grading here. So I'm going to start off with going to the vibrance and just really crushing that down quite a bit. Right there about minus 65. That's a good start. And the reason why you want to cut down your vibrance quite a bit, especially when you get into really heavy color grading is because the color grading process itself, you're going to be adding the colors into the image. And by cutting down the vibrance, you're giving yourself an environment that's closer to a blank canvas. That way you don't have to override very, very rich colors. And that way you can add smaller amounts of color to make bigger differences and thus doing less damage, if you will, to the pixels. Then with the saturation, we're gonna leave that where it's at for this image. So let's start the color grading process here with split toning. Now the hue on our highlights, let's go to around 75 or so and then we'll add that into the image with the saturation, about 15. So you can see here, not a huge difference, but it is gonna make a difference in the long run, trust me. And then with our shadows, we're gonna kinda go into this pink region here, somewhere around three, somewhere around 345 or so, that's good. I'm gonna cancel out the saturation here and add it with my slider about 30. So we added a bunch of pink into the shadows. Awesome. So let's turn that off, turn it back on. You can see it's already starting to take shape a little bit. So let's scroll up to the HSL because we're going to start working with our saturation module here. And we're going to want to cut a lot of the warmer tones here. So let's start with the reds and we're going to come down around minus 40 or so. Yeah, about minus 40. With our orange, about minus 20. Yellows, we're gonna do about minus 25. Greens, we're gonna go about minus 50. Now, the reason why I'm attacking the greens a little harder here is specific to this image, really, because the, the background of this image is grass. So just keep in mind, you know, doing minus 50 on your image may not be the most useful thing in the world. But for this example, it really is. You can see it cuts the grass quite a bit. So we'll do minus 50. The next thing you'll notice about this saturation slider here is I made all these changes sort of in an arc. And the reason being is because these are all kind of in the same family of tonal qualities. So if I take one and modify it really heavily, it's just not going to look right in the midst of all the other tones. 
So remember to try to keep all your corresponding tones kind of tight there. So let's take a look at what the HSL adjustments did with the saturation there. So let's turn it off, turn it back on, and you can see it just cut some of the excess of the warm tones there. Okay, so this is where we're gonna make a really dramatic change in the overall color grading here. So let's scroll up to actually the tone curve here, and you can see here my channel is already set to blue, but let's start with, let's start with the red channel. So I'm gonna make a point right in the middle of the red channel here, and I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit. Perfect. And then the node all the way to the left, I'm gonna bring that up just a little bit as well. Not a ton very very subtle then as we make our way into the greens I'm gonna make that same node in the middle and also bring that down just a little bit sweet then in our blues this is where a ton of the magic happens we're gonna go all the way to the left with this one node here and we're gonna bring it up quite a bit somewhere around 10 11 or 12 percent or so let's go 12 percent 12 and a half there we go okay cool so you can see it's really taken on that really colder look. And check out just how strong the tone curve is. So let's turn it off. Wow, it almost looks like it's not color graded at all. And turn it back on, bam. Super heavily edited, just in these little graphs here. So don't ever underestimate the tone curve. So now let's scroll up to the total color balance and let's correct this just a little bit. And you can see here, the color temperature that the camera took was 4200 Kelvin. We obviously need to adjust for this quite a bit. So let's add some warmth back into the image. Let's go around 5450 there, there we go. And then we're gonna wanna add some magenta into the image as well. Let's do about plus 20, there we go. Okay, so I'm super happy with the tones here. As far as the color grading is concerned, I think it looks great, but now we really need to round out the rest of the image. So let's go down to the post crop vignette and we're really gonna utilize this tool here. So on the amount, let's go to about minus 25 or so. There we go, quite a bit. With our midpoint, we're gonna bring this all the way down to zero. And as I click, I'm holding down Alter Option, depending on the platform, and I'm just gonna bring that all the way down. For roundness, I'm gonna hold the same key and come up to about, let's see, about 65 or so. There we go, 67 is good with me. And then feather, we're gonna feather it all the way. And I can I can already tell it's it's made a huge change. All right, this is super cool. Don't ever underestimate the post crop vignetting. It can really, really, really help shape your image a lot. So check this out. We turn that off and we turn it back on. <laughs> wow, the, the image pops so much more and you can see so much more of that color grading here off into the edges and into the background. I love that look. And so really the last thing I'm gonna do to this image is come up to the detail, add a little bit of sharpening to it, something like 60 or so. That looks good to me. Let me check how it looks. Maybe hit this with a little bit of noise reduction. Really not much, maybe like 30 or so. Oh yeah, that looks way, <laughs> that looks way better. Let's turn off the detail, turn it back on. That made a substantial change. And let's turn it off and turn it back on. Yeah, that's huge. Well, there we have it. Brandon Wolfel inspired color grading. Hopefully you liked it. If you enjoyed this or you learned something, I would appreciate it if you liked the video. If you're new, hopefully you'll subscribe. We got a lot more coming. Well, I'm James Young with jamesyoungphotography.com and this is Teach Me How to Lightroom.